Welcome everyone. In today's class, we are going to discuss about how to clean the data set. For that, we are going to remove the unwanted sentence or unwanted regular expression from our statements. So, we are going to discuss that. You have to type this. So, we are going to create a function for cleaning the data set. So, you have to type def clean of text. We are going to clean the text. So, you have to use the regular expression for finding the matches of the words. For that, we are going to use the text equal to string of text dot lower of. First, we are going to convert all the words to the lower form. So, if it is capital form or uppercase, we will be converted into lower form. So, after that, we are going to use the regular expression. For that, you have to type text equal to re dot sub. Sub is nothing but subtract. We are going to remove the this pattern of strings from our statement. So, first we are going to remove the square brackets dot star hosting mark slash and then comma single quotation. single quotation comma text so we are going to remove this string from our statement because it does not give meaning to our project after that we are going to remove the regular expression from inside the single quotation you have to type the string https so we are going to remove the url from our text so you have to type https question mark colon slash 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 forward slash and backward slash and s plus www so you have to type www slash dot slash s plus so S can be capital one, comma, single quotation, comma, text. So you have to type text. We are going to remove the URL from our statement. Our sentence, anything you want. So after that we are going to remove the other regular expression for that you have to type text equal to re dot sub of of less than dot star question mark greater than plus comma and then you have to type quotation comma you have to type text t e x t so we are going to remove the regular expression text equal to re dot sub of single quotation square bracket inside that you have to type percentage yes percentage re dot escape of string escape characters dot punctuation so we are going to remove the punctuations comma single quotation comma text so whatever strings does not give meaning to our statement we are going to remove them using the regular expression string matching concept text equal to re dot sub of square bracket rub dot sub of slash n so we are going to remove the next line 
from our statements or new line. So cleaning the data set is very 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 important for CSV file cleaning data set. So we are going to remove slash w star slash d slash w star comma single quotation text so after that you have to type text equal to square bracket inside that you have to type word for word in text every word in the text iterated using the for loop splitted each words are splitted space inside the single quotation if word not in stop words So we are going to split every words if the words are not in stop words. Stop words is nothing but if the word are not you the root word meaning. After that we are going to join the text. Text equal to double quotation dot text. After that we are going to After that you have to type text equal to stemmer. We are going to use the stem function for removing the words which does not give any meanings for our project. So you have to type for loop. So we are going to remove each word in the text which does not use the stemmer meaning. Dot split off. Inside the split, you have to put space. First, we are splitted and join the text. After that, we have found the stemmer words and then join the function. At last, we are going to return the text. After that, so these are all the regular expression and unwanted meanings we are going to remove from our data set. So it is the process of cleaning the data set. So after that we are going to apply these changes to our tweak column. So we are going to create a new tweak column which apply these changes. That is we are removing the unwanted words from our tweak column. So tweak, so tweak column is required for our project for finding the hate speech. For that only we are applying these changes to our tweak column. So you have to run this. So you can see the cleaning the data set it completed successfully. For that we are going to discuss about how to use this algorithm for our project. So we are going to use the variable x equal to np dot array of we are going to create x variable array using the column tweet so we are going to create an array for the tweet column using the x variable after that we are going to create a y array for the column labels so we are going to create array for the label columns so these two variables are created for our project. So after that we are going to use the count vectorizer. For that you have to type cv equal to count vectorizer of. So and then we are going to use the x variable again for fitting the variable. So we are going to fit the variable in the dimension. For that only we are going to use the fit 
transform of function. So if it is in the 2D dimension, it will be converted into 1D dimension. For that only we are using the count vectorizer. And then we are going to use the X train and Y train, X train, X test and Y train and Y test. Using the package train test split package. So train test split package is useful for for splitting the data set into two types, X train and Y train, and X test and Y test. So we are going to use that package train test and split. So inside the bracket, you have to type the variables x, comma, y, comma, and then you have to type the size, test size equal to 0 0.33, 0 0.33 can be your own choice, and then random state also can be your own choice, random state can be 42 or anything you want. So first we have created the array for the columns and then we have split the data set into two test and try. After that we are going to use the decision tree classifier. So you have to type CLF. CLF can be your own variable. CLF equal to. So you have to type decision tree classifier of the function. We are just calling the function. and clf equal to we are going to train the variable x for that only we are using the fit x train so before that you have to change the x to capital x because there are two variables one for the array and other for the training so that's why we are just changing the variable to capital and small. So variable for the lower function is for the array. Upper function is for the training process. So and white train. So we are just training this data set. For the decision tree classifier algorithm. So. We are used to the decision tree classifier. Decision tree classifier algorithm is nothing but it divides the columns into two types, whether it is hate speech or not hate speech. So after that, you have to run this code. So we can see the output is generated. So that decision tree classifier function. So our output is trained with the decision tree classifier. So that's it. In today's class, we have discussed about how to train our data set with the decision tree classifier algorithm. So in the next class, we are going to validate our output for our hate speech detection algorithm. So let's see you in the next class. Welcome everyone. In today's class, we are going to discuss about how to validate the data set trained with the decision tree classifier algorithm. So we are going to validate our data set whether it finds hate speech or not hate speech for our project. For that we are going to use the variable sample. So you have to type sample equal to inside the quotation you can type your words or sentence whether it finds it is hate speech or not hate speech. And then you have to type data equal to cv dot transform of inside the square bracket you have to type sample and then dot to array of so we are just converted the string into array 
for finding it is h speech or not h speech after that we are just printing the prediction score of our value so we are just printing the data so first you have to type the word or sentence after that you have to convert them into array and then that and then we are just predicting the values so after that you have to run your project so it finds that it is no hate and offense you so our project is successfully trained with decision tree classifier because hello is not hate speech so that's why it shows that no hate and offense you so it shows that kill is the hate speech because kill is an offensive word so we can also change other words so dark is not a hate speech so in the output shows that hate speech because good kill it is an hate speech so that's it our project is completed successfully if you like my project and my course please put positive review in the comment section hope i can see you in the upcoming courses teached by me thank you